What is a recycling facility? Big question. Not an easy answer. Because recycling takes many different forms. Most people think recycling facility is a place that separates cans, plastic, and glass. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. The industry that supplies the raw material to steel mills, the recycled materials industry, what are those facilities? So I'm in my facility in Bakersfield, California, Sierra Recycling and Demolition. And there are a thousand of other metal recyclers just like this across America processing this material, this obsolete metal, we're processing it so it can fit in the charge bucket at an EAF steel mill like CMC. Those are capital intensive facilities that have invested millions of dollars in processing equipment and everything that goes into processing metals. So we invest millions of dollars into material handlers and to the shears that we use in our facilities daily to process this material. Our facility has multi-million dollars of equipment. This takes millions of dollars in investment between the shear, the material handler that loads it, the foundation, the electrical, and everything that goes into it. To build a facility like this today from scratch, you're gonna spend well over $10 million just for this style of operation. From the scales that you weigh in on, to the radiation monitors that we you know, scan the material to make sure they're free of radiation, to the roads, to the Two ram baler that processes paper, cardboard, aluminum, copper, to the material handlers that could be as, as expensive as a million dollars that actually pick up materials and move it around your facility, to the shear that cuts the iron in our facility. As you saw at Seguin, there's the big shredder. Those are 30, 40 million dollar machines. As we saw in season one at Alter Trading in Davenport, Iowa, that facility to replicate today would be over $30 million as well. So, you know, you don't invest that kind of money if you're processing something that has no value. And what has no value is waste. This is not waste. This material that you see behind me, this is the raw material. This is the commodity that EAF steel mills, like SSAB, like CMC, these steel mills use cut grade irons along with shredded iron that we saw from the shredders to make the blend they need to make new steel. They are a manufacturing facility, if you will. To compare it to the automotive industry, you have a production line. Well, a metal recycling facility is no different. It is a production line of materials to get to the finished good. Like the finished car that drives off the factory lot, well, what leaves a recycled materials facility in a rail car or a truck or a container is the finished product. These steel mills use our materials to make the new steel we need to have our daily lives. And at CMC, they're making rebar, which is the foundation of America. A recycled materials facility, every yard is different, but every yard is the same in one aspect. We're all processing recycled materials to get it ready to be repurposed, to be consumed from a steel mill, to aluminum foundry, copper foundry, copper smelters, to paper mills, to stainless steel mills. I'm standing in this pile of unprepared iron. 
Now this is also a commodity that our facility purchases. Facilities like Sierra across America will also purchase this raw material here for our processing so we can get it prepared for the steel mills so they can use it as their raw material to make new steel. We're not processing junk, we're not processing waste. What we're processing is an actual commodity that is traded to the mills because it has value, because this is the raw material that will end up in a steel mill. It's a commodity. Recycled materials facilities process the recycled material so it can be reconsumed and made into new products. This is gonna be fun. You might wanna put yours on over. Yeah, good, thanks man. Appreciate your help, sir. I'm feeling like Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz. Put the gear a little bit better. Let's see if my boots go through here. This is exciting. This is what I want to do. Because to tell the story of steel making, you can't do it from afar. Nope. We got to get into it so people can see, like I said, the awesomeness of it. There, Drew. I got this. I'm gonna see it from out here. It's the Fourth of July every day in here, huh? Oh, Fourth of July seems pretty dull when you work here. Oh, I agree years. with you. Yeah, look at that. That's just beauty to me. 123 tons in less than three minutes. That's our future highways, our future stadiums, our future hospitals, the infrastructure of everything this is making right here. If it's not made of steel, it's probably produced with steel. Yeah. <laughs> that just doesn't get old. It really doesn't. CMC, their mills are designed to make rebar and they make other products as well now that they've advanced uh, their steel making. But CMC clearly is a leader in the United States for making rebar that goes into our infrastructure. So CMC is a massive company that has steel making, rebar fabrication, and of course my personal favorite, metal recycling. How many employees does CMC have here in America and worldwide? So in the United States, we have about 9,000 employees and um, globally, we have about 12,500. We currently have nine steel mills, over 60 re uh, recycling facilities, and, and 50 plus rebar fabrication facilities. So let's start with the employees, because the, em the employees are they're the foundation of our business. We have, we have 12,500 employees at CMC that every single day are making things happen. They're in, 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 ingenious, they're innovative, fundamentally, they take care of each other from a safety standpoint. What else about your company culture and steel making and, and, and recycling that you're very proud of that you would like to, t to share with people so they know more about the culture of commercial metals? This company is, it is a can-do culture, right? What I love most about this company is 
and I always use this expression, we'll find a way, right? You go to any one of our plants and you look at what they're doing and the challenges they're confronting and it's always, uh, yeah, we got this challenge, but don't worry, we'll find a way. And it's a really, it's magical, right? Because it really, uh, you see it, it makes you want to be part of this culture. And people are, see our employees are seeing this every day and it's, uh, it's one of the really powerful things we have. The people that drive the recycled materials industry and the steel industry are a group of incredible individuals. Tell us about the culture here at CMC because I'm getting the vibe that this is a great place to work. So our culture is probably one of the most important things to me personally. I treat everybody like family out here, honestly. I call a lot of our younger employees my, my sons. I talk to them like my sons a lot of times. Um, I love them. I care for them. Uh, everybody out here just, I, I want them to succeed. Uh, when they succeed, we all succeed. Steel mills, for instance, have such a wide variety of jobs from technological, from the, the IT departments to the technology needed to develop steel and new steel making, to the trades, from the welders, to the electricians, to the engineers, to everybody within a mill, the credible people skills that are needed, the dedication from these people is incredible. All you guys, we're recording. We are rolling on these two. We are rolling. Rolling? All right, let's start. Okay. You have an amazing culture. When I say you, the CMC has an incredible culture all around from the executive level and you. I congratulate you on that and I think that you are leading the way in your area and I'm sure, you know, there's a sense of pride with that. Oh, yes. I mean, I've worked in several different industries, but I do have to say that CMC's culture is top notch. CMC is definitely my home. Um, I've been, like you said, I've been a paper mill, sawmill, different industries, uh, different companies, but you're not a number here, they treat you like a person. Um, just the other day, the, the vice president came by and he, he remembers my name from the last time I met him. You don't get that anywhere else. This industry is about the people. It is the people. Their commitment to this industry is why we even have a nation and why we even have the great products and goods that we have in this nation is because of the people that work on a daily basis. So the company culture, you've been here a lot of years. You don't stay if the culture is no good. Tell us about CMC, the culture and why it's, it's made home for you for work. It's, it's really family oriented. You know, actually I have a brother that works in, in and works here as well. You know, and he's been here 25 years and I've been here 22. You know, and it's, it's one of those that if I could not see my, my own blood brother, I'm gonna see one of my brothers out on the, on the shop floor. You know, and I just kinda, it's just one of those things that I've always, I've always looked for is the family environment, you know, so. CMC is providing that for you. Correct. How about yeah. you, Patrick? It's a second family. So, you know, love the people I work with. Like, uh, I was talking to the guys on the ride over here. You know, I live near Austin. And some people usually when I tell them that, they're like, man, you drive all the way from there? And I'm like, I do, because I love what I do out here. Working with the people, you know, uh, the relationships I build out here with them. You know, I know they got my back, I got theirs. And then everything that we do is just teamwork. And then the very important thing is knowing that, you know, it's all done safely. Like, we watch out for each other, because at the same time, not every industry or company has that. And that's what I really, really liked about this place. We are really proud of the fact that one in five employees at our company right now are veterans. Commercial Metals is a big supporter of veterans. One in every five employee at, at Commercial Metals happens to be a military veteran. When they come to work for this company and find out that CMC is also providing the protection they needed when they were in the field. There's got to be a huge sense of pride for that employee that helps create the culture that you are leading the company with. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just say uh, a shout out to the, to the veterans. I mean, they, these people are incredible employees, incredibly dedicated, incredibly goal-oriented, and we love having them as on our team. So you, former veteran, mm -hmm. what branch of service were you in? Army. Army. 
Did you know when you were in the Army that some of the armor plating on Humvees and M1 Abrams and body armor actually came from the company you're working from? I did not know that until I started working from CMC. It is uh, not mentioned of where it comes from, but I really appreciate it. It did save my life a few times. So I'm having a conversation and, and we're talking and this gentleman's a veteran. And when I said, well, what, what, were, your, what were your thoughts when you found out that commercial metal makes the armor plating for Humvees and M1 Abrams and the body armor? He looked at me and he said, it saved my life. And, and, and it hits you knowing that he's a veteran, that he was in action, he's seen war firsthand. And his response, something I will never forget because something saved his life. And that something was steel. And to be part of the industry that is saving the lives of our soldiers, it's pretty profound. Yeah, I think that's, that's the beauty of our industry because I believe so much is out there and people need to learn more and they need to know that the career paths such as a young man like you military you know one in five employees here at cmc are military yeah. former militaries how's that make you feel it makes me feel great camaraderie um every time you go everybody feels like a brother or sister here definitely and that's it feels the way i did in the military there's a pride with our employees of the work that they're doing to build you know armored vehicles or equipment that's going into military operations, there's, there's an in, immense pride that comes with that. They, as a company, supply armor plating to the military to protect our soldiers. That is really powerful. All right, please introduce yourself. I'm Jennifer Alegria, outside sales, North Texas Fab. How incredible is it to be with a company that really supports your improvement? I'm, I'm proud. I talk about it everywhere I go. I talk to the girls in the office. I talk to the people outside. I talk to everyone about it because it's, I wouldn't have had that opportunity. And maybe there's other companies that do that, but the support, and I do say CMC family because the shop, the superintendents, everyone that was a part of that journey for me, knew my children, knew my family. I think that what is inside is what counts. That is CMC. That's how we are, our family, our CMC family. We are one and we love our customers. And, and you love what you do. I love what I do. Uh, my girls, they see rebar on in the highways or in the street and they're like, that's rebar, my mom, she sells that. And it's, I love that they know what rebar is. So you're making your kids rebar enthusiasts yeah. too, right? Yeah. And they're very proud of it. And they love the CMC family as well. A lot of people don't know that, you know, that there's companies out there like CMC. So I, if any chance that I get, anybody that's, you know, stuck at a job that they don't really like, I'm like, come over, just try, you know, learn. We are a business that, they give opportunity, you know, whether you're starting, they give you an opportunity to move up and then they help you with your education along the way. And that's, it's something that, you know, it's, it's emotional to talk about. But that's okay. Yeah, but. You know what, the, see, if you're emotional about it, that means that something good's happening to you. You're emotional in a good way, huh? Yeah, yeah I am, always. Yeah. Where, where are you going to be in five years? Come on, you're on this career path. You're kicking ass. Where are you going? I don't know, but I'm going to be with you. My loyalty is to them because of all that they've helped me with. So. I'm going to be here. If they have me, I will be here. So it's family. It's going, you're essentially walking into a second family. And it's, you can't really describe the people here. We're all so very different. But you've got the people that you laugh with, the people that you are going to be by your side in the hardest of moments. You've got the people that will answer the call for you at 2 o'clock in the morning when you desperately need help or advice and you they have your back it is 
it is family here, and there's really no other way to describe walking in to that. Did you imagine that you could really find a career with that type of culture? No, not at all. I had the idea that it was gonna be more like a corporate environment, so to speak, and that is not the case here. The people at the steel mills, at Commercial Metals, each and every one of them we interviewed, what did they say? They said the same thing over and over. Working at Commercial Metals is working for a family. They felt the family atmosphere. The family that we have here, the teamwork that goes on here from one department to the other, the learning that happens from day to day, um, it's just something very, very special. And that's what steel making is all about. Uh, the teamwork that goes on behind the scenes that uh, not everyone really sees and uh, something really, really special. Tony, you're second generation steel maker. Yes, sir. Dad worked out here for 39 years. Uh, I started in 1990. Uh, you know, I used to see him come home, you know, he hard worker, you know, and uh, made a good living. Uh, I got married in 1989 and then uh, I was looking for a job. And I talked to him, uh, talked to my uncle that was out here and uh, got hired on. But none of this happens without people. Tell us about the people and each of you having to work with people every day and it doesn't happen without people. Absolutely, you gotta have people and they're, and they're the backbone of and I would definitely th say that, you know, the culture drives off of that as well. Um, people play right into that. Um, it's a family atmosphere out here. Um, you know, bringing folks in that have never seen steel making and just introducing it to them, um, you'd be surprised. And that family kind of helps bring that all together. And uh, it's, it's something really, really neat. Most of our businesses across America are family owned. The recycled materials industry is such a large family owned industry. And people that go to work there feel the same way. They're working for a family. Our industry is one gigantic family, working for the good of a nation, the working for the good of our infrastructure, for our health and for our transportation and services, for our food, from harvesting the food that comes from metal products to the trucks that haul it to the food processing plants that have so much steel and recycled metals in it. I've been here just under a year and a half. Uh, since then though, it's been an incredible ride. I feel like I've been here for maybe 20 years by now, just by the way everybody knows my name. Uh, you know, that, that was probably one of the first things that I noticed was on my first tour here, you know, I was I felt like my shoulder was gonna pop out of the socket just by how many handshakes and waves and high fives and stuff I was getting. CMC feels like it's been home forever. This culture here is one that gives you the opportunity to have a seat at the table. You're heard, you have a voice, um, you are somebody, you matter. And so it's important that you go home and that's what we strive for. This is an industry by dedicated people serving the people of a nation and of the world. We touch everybody's lives, even, you know, it's, it's kind of, you're just that silent, um, that silent superhero. You're taking care of everybody without them knowing it. And I, I, it's just something to be proud of. Absolutely something to be proud of. When he says that we're the silent superheroes, the workers in steel mills, the companies dealing and providing steel mills with the raw material, yeah, they are superheroes because without them, we just don't have a country.
You know, the best part, one of the best parts of making this docu-series, season one and season two, is my ability to connect with people that I know in this industry, that I've known, you know, that I've socialized with, that I've traveled with for vacations, if you will. But to get to know them in their actual environment, in their business, to see the different side of them as they talk about what they're doing. All the people along the way that you meet, you know, from Jay Rabinowitz, you know, on season one at Alter, who really got the ball rolling for us, and George Adams, and then, you know, all the other people, you know, there's so many people, and, and you know, I, I can't name them all, but to see them in their actual environment and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis, it's been the funnest because it's getting in and getting their world, seeing their world through their eyes, through their vision, and being able to tell that story, that's a lot of fun. I, I, that's why, one of the reasons I have loved doing this, and when I finished season one, I knew there had to be a season two, because it was like, I need to finish telling more of this story. What a great industry. And I'm just, you know, I'm happy we're telling the story.